Welcome back to explain CAD. In this tutorial, we will know about boundary surfaces. For boundary surfaces, we need some planes which are offset to each other. I select top plane, sketch, select spline, right click, select option. I'm back from this sketch. Now select reference geometry plane. First reference, I select top plane. Offset distance, I select 100 mm. Select OK. Now select plane 1. Sketch normal. Again, I select spline. I draw spline here. Right click, select option. Come back from this sketch. Again, select reference geometry plane. First reference, I select this plane. Plane 1 and offset distance 100 mm. Select OK. Now select this plane. Sketch normal. Again, I select spline. I grab one spline here. Right click, select option. Come back from this sketch. Now select plane 1, select height. Plane 2, select height. Now go to surfaces. Select boundary surfaces. Select this point. This point and this point. Here green dots are coming. Make sure these green dots are aligned. If these green dots are not aligned, then you create some problem. From here, select sketch 1. From here, you can select normal to profile. And by selecting this arrow, you can change its normal. See here. Now select sketch 2. Again, select normal to profile. Or you can select direction vector. I select normal to profile. Now with this arrow, you can manage this normal to profile. Now select sketch 3. Again, select normal to profile. By this arrow, you can change its normal. Select OK. We can also create, we can also go with some guided curves, select boundary surface feature, delete it, now select tight plane, sketch normal, I select spline, I select this point, make sure these points are coincident with each other. Come back from this sketch. Now select boundary surfaces. Delete this one. Select this point. This point. And this point. From here select direction 2. You can select the guided curve. This guide. Select OK. See here. This was the boundary surface tool. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.